Did you cut him? Did you cut him? Let me add to his goal. There's me and another guy. He's not ever seen the remediation. It's the city of Pasadena. So I had all that stuff. Truck department, building department. Okay, so this right here, and I'll tell you what happened here. This is very interesting. This right here, this trough right here, is always here. And it was lined with these to make a French train. All these, uh, uh, these stones right here. Why would you want a French train? I didn't do it. This was already done. So with yeah. the sewage over here, when I, know, when I knew that the sewage was here and I pumped it out, that's when the water, I, I treated it, and then the water started foaming up on the other side. I put a, um, hydrogen peroxide in there and stuff, and it foamed up out here, so I'm like, oh my god. So I pulled it up, this shape and, really and then... This is like totally black in here. Yeah. Okay. Right. Now, the, the plumber said that it wasn't hooked up yeah. on the... Uh, he said, we're going to charge you $3,500 to find the sewer line. So I'm coming, I came down here, and now this is the drain. This was in place, I mean... And, and that's that was the sewer. That's the sewer? That's the sewer. This right here, this side of the clay pipe has been cut and filled with cement. And this right here was all covered over. Um, we used to, we would get a whip now and then in the sewage, and didn't know we don't have a good. No uh, uh, they said we're going to charge you thirty five hundred dollars to find the sewer line. So I'm coming. I came down here. Now this is the drain. This was uh, in place. I mean, and, and that's the sewer. That's the sewer. That's the sewer. This right here, this side of the clay pipe has been cut and filled with cement. And this right here was all covered over. Um, we used to, we would get a whiff now and then of the sewage, and didn't know. We don't have a good sense of smell at all. I don't know. I don't know. Covered over, covered over. Um, we used to, we would get a whiff now and then of the sewage, and didn't know. We don't have a good sense of smell at all. I don't know. That was done. This was underground. This is not not ground, but it was had a little bit of uh, sand and sod and this stuff on it. All the way back, the power line comes. Show you this. The power line runs underneath here. Now, what you're walking on right now, I didn't know this until afterwards. That all rocks in place here. All of it. Every last bit of it. Okay. Um, this, this right here is some. Sewage drain draining into here existing and uh, so I cleaned it out because it was smelling of sewage on the side over here. I treated it all and did remediation. Now what I did was try to get what I did was because it was smells because it was smelling of sewage on the side over here. Okay, um, this this right here is something. The sewage, the sewage drain draining into here. So I cleaned it out because it was smelly and the food dumped on the side over here. I treated it all and did remediation. Now what I did was try to get rid of all the sewage in here. There's over maybe 2,000, 2,500 gallons of raw sewage. Okay, so what I did is I started remediating it per the EPA standards, okay, using uh, lime uh, and things like that. Lime, uh, ammonia, and, uh, 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 sorry, I'm a little... Okay, let me take a quick look in this other unit. I know some of the pulpits are over here. Okay, well, I got the rest to show you right here. It's, uh, well, I, yeah. I, I think part of the well, issue, the issue, a lot of this is related, and I want to go back and make it really, really clear what we're here to do today. We're not going to be, uh, we're, we're not interested in the part where, in the past history, we're looking at what's here today. If you if you are stating a case that the, the property owner was non-responsive to your claims and so on and so forth, that's that's certainly an issue. What we're looking at is what are the issues there today? Is the property habitable? And what needs to be done to the property in order to to in order to remedy the current situation? Okay. This, this whole issue about what went on in the future between you. Okay, these were gas emissions from here. You notice that, now I cut this. This is very important. Cut what? Been, oh, um, I, I, these are gas emissions right here. I cut through the lawn, okay, and what I found was 
complete raw sewage throughout the entire property. This is all sewage. Right here. And I folded it in. It's been tested. Now I, now I cut this. This is very important. And so what? Oh, um, I, I, these are gas emissions right here. I cut through the lawn, okay, and what I found was complete raw sewage throughout the entire property. This is all sewage. Right here. And, and I folded it in. It's been tested. Folded it in. It's been tested. Folded it in. It's been tested. This is why the, the fire nobody's, department. Nobody's doubting that there's no, no, no. sewage here. Oh, no, no, I'm, no, but I mean the fire department. This here. Oh, no, no, I'm, no, but I mean nobody's, the fire department. Nobody's doubting that there's no, no, no. sewage here. Oh, no, no, I'm, this is layer of, which we should, there's a layer of this stuff. Right? Test this, test this, take any samples, which we should. There's a layer of this stuff right here. And this is why the, the fire nobody's, department. Nobody's doubting that there's no, no, no. sewage here. Oh, no, no, I'm, no, but I mean the fire department. This, this right here. Okay, there's a layer of clay, it's oil embedded clay that goes underneath the entire property and all the way through, right here. You can see it goes underneath, it's been here very for a long time. It goes actually underneath the, uh, the old stuff right there. All right. Now, that, I was concerned that it may have been toxic to the, uh, uh, the way that it's uh, uh, working on. Is yeah. At night, when it's cold, the gas company came out and told us to call 911. This, okay, I'm going to show you this, this right here got folded in and what have you back, that hole goes all the way down, I don't know how long. Well, you're talking about a complaint that was made, so you notice the grass is like that. Hold on, no, let's, 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 let's just have one come conversation here. Oh, okay. right. But this is not your job to go there for the help. That's not that, we're not here for that. Okay. So, I mean, we've heard a lot about the history that led up to this event. Well, what's here now is I need to, I'm, I'm going to be sued. This is why I got kind of locked down, because I was threatened to, to be sued for making any repairs after they had completely turned their back on us. Landlord I understand. Okay. Um, okay. The other thing is the city, um, uh, through uh, Tony Escamara, he said everything has got to be taken out of here immediately. That's a health department issue. Okay. In terms of, in terms of the soil... If the health department makes that call, that's their call. So let me just make it clear. Tony doesn't make the calls for the health department. The health department makes the calls for the health department. So if, if Ophelia says there's an issue, there's an issue. If not, not. So we'll leave that to the okay. health department. Because I've, okay. I've requested things in writing, all kinds of stuff, to see if I can throw this out. I was promised a, a dumpster, a truck, even a crew. Let, let me, let me clarify that also. There may have been some miscommunication. The city does not provide trucks, and the city does not provide dumpsters. Okay, well that was made clear to me. I, uh, at I, that point. Let me just say this. My staff know that the, that the city doesn't provide trucks and dumpsters. There may have been a miscommunication. It's true. Now, the, the city has what's called the MASH program, which is maintenance assistance and service to homeowners. For people that, that are meet a certain income threshold, uh, they paint houses and do minor repairs. We don't do yard cleanups. We don't provide dumpsters. We don't provide dumps. My staff know that. So okay. I'm not sure if there was some miscommunication between the two, but I just want to clarify so everybody's on the same page right now. Okay. So oh, well, here's, here's the thing. Is I was told to remove the trash. I ordered a, a trash pickup from the city. Um, the once a year is for everything. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And I was told by them that because we had sewage on the property, sewage spills, well, I put all these tarps up to protect okay. my neighbors. All right. They said that I could go to jail if I did that. Okay. Then I have to call the, uh, um, the, 
Yeah. If that's what they told you, then that's what I would go with then. That's, that's fine. They told me. So okay, that's fine. Right. Like between a rock, a rock and a heart, they told, they told you. Uh, okay. I have to accept it. Okay. okay. Name is all right. Well, I put all these in. Tar accept it. Well, I put all these in. Tar accept it. Okay. okay. Name is all right. Said I could go to jail if I did that. Okay. Then I have to call the, uh, um, the... If that's what the they told guy. you, then that's what I would go with then. Yeah, that's, that's fine. They told me. So okay, that's fine. Right. I'm between a rock and a hard place. Uh, I want to get stuff out. I don't want to be here. Um, we had an 18 month lease. We just we had completely just closed it on this deal. Just right. completely. So if, so if the city is saying that they're not going to pick up the, the large item debris because there's sewage on it, then that's the answer. You don't put it out. You need to make other arrangements, and you make other make other arrangements, and you make other arrangements. If you need a roll off to make other... Between a rock and a hard place. Ding, ding, ding. That they're not going to pick up the, the large item debris because there's sewage on it, then that's the answer. You don't put it out. You need to make other arrangements, and you make other arrangements. If you need a roll off dumpster, you get a roll off dumpster. If you need a roll that's gonna. I mean, that's an issue that we don't have any control over. Okay. Do you, you have? Is there a way to get some assistance for, or, or a clearance to say, hey, we have this uh, uh, situation here. We have people that have this stuff. It's got destroyed. It's full of. Uh, clearance. When you say clearance, what do you mean? Well, just mean to say, go ahead and throw it away. The city. It sounds like you've already talked to Public Works. What, what, what you've told me is Public Works has said if there's sewage contamination, you can't. So I think what we're going to go on is what you've already but, said, is they said you can't throw it away. So they, but, but one, one of the yeah. we, I was told that because there was no water, that's when they shut the water off on the, uh, the uh, 23rd. Okay. The thing is, you have to get some assistance. This uh, uh, you went, you went stuff, stuff. It's got destroyed. It's full of... Uh, clearance. When you say clearance, what do you mean? Well, just mean to say, go ahead and, and throw it away. The city, it sounds like you've already talked to public works. But what, what, what you've told me is Public Works has said if there's sewage contamination, you can't. So I think what we're going to go on is what you've already said is they said you can't throw it away. So, yeah.